Afternoon YouTubers, just going to quickly go through uh, Land Rover service manual functions. Um, there's not many diagnostics out there that actually do service manual functions, STD functions. Um, so if uh, any of you are aware, uh, using the JLR STD, Symptoms Driven Diagnostics, um, it asks you a series of questions, it'll go through the questions and it'll determine what it needs to do and what it thinks you should be looking at. Uh, now the Autel, um, where they got the information from, who knows, being a Chinese company I think we all really know, uh, I've actually got this built into the Autel. Uh, it's not finalised uh, and it's not 100% but it is pretty good at the moment. Um, so as an example, if we go into the powertrain control module on this 2010 Range Rover Sport, um, we have got a uh, fault code for turbocharger, supercharger, boost control. Uh, very common, it's very common for the actual solenoids to start sticking and go faulty. Um, so we're just gonna have a quick look. We've got a service manual button on the bottom. Um, and what I'll do is quickly click on the service manual. As you can see up here, let's go back. As you can see up here, symptoms-based diagnostics, which is the same as STD. Uh, you've got trouble code help, and then you've got obviously symptom code symptom, uh, trouble code symptoms. Now, I'm gonna first go into trouble code help um, because as you can see, uh, control B performance. Uh, some people would struggle to know what side of the engine that's on um, and what exactly it means. So if we go into the service manual, trouble code help. So left hand turbocharger, uh, boost control B performance. So it's telling you which side it's on. Uh, it's telling you why. Um, so the signal uh, is less than the minimum. Uh, possible causes as you can see um, and then it will go on to tell you the actions required uh, take the, check the turbo and the circuits um, and then it's giving you some actuator angles and what you should be reading um, and then finally uh, if the actuator is sticking it tells you to put a new uh, turbo on there with an actuator um, so there's quite a bit of information there um, Interestingly, I'm going to go back into it and I'm actually going to go into uh, trouble code symptom. Now, this is where I think there uh, are some anomalies with the system which need to be sorted. Um, for the people who use STD, you will see uh, the similarities here. Um, so if I click, click on that, uh, electrical instrument warning lamps, engine malfunction warning lamp illuminated, uh, which this has got. Uh, and when we click on there and press OK, it's saying that these are the two recommended uh, actions for this fault. And as you can see, a fuel prime routine and transmission control module adaption clear isn't really what we're looking for. Um, so I'm going to report this back to Auto and hopefully they can sort it. But just a bit of background into it and uh, just show you what it can do. Take it easy.